Transitions in video make moving from one clip to the next more dynamic and interesting than a simple hard cut. In this tutorial, we'll look at how to add and customize transitions in Video Studio. We'll be working with Video Studio 2023, which has some new transition types and customization options, but the basic workflows for transitions are the same across most versions of Video Studio. We've got a timeline with some footage already organized, so let's add some transitions. All transitions in Video Studio can be found here. And if you mouse over a transition, you can see a short animation that shows you the effect that that transition will have. Let's use the most basic transition first, which is a simple crossfade blending two clips together. Just drag and drop the transition where two clips meet. We can press play, and because clip play is automatically selected here, just the transition will play so that we can see how it looks. The length of a transition can be adjusted by dragging the edge of the transition clip on the timeline. When a transition length is increased, we can see that the total length of the whole edit is reduced, as clip A and B are now overlapping more. And if we do the reverse and decrease the length of the transition, we can see that clips A and B now overlap less and the whole edit increases in length. Transitions are sometimes most effectively used to accentuate the contents of both clips. At our next transition point, clip B starts with the subject in the frame running, so it might be good to apply the run and stop transition here. We can see from the animation that this transition ends with a judder, which could pair well with the handheld camera movements in clip B. Let's take a look. Similarly, this clip ends with the subject throwing her arms up in the air as she poses for a photograph, and the next clip starts with her in a similar pose. A transition such as the camera movements transition towards the top could accentuate this movement with her arms. And if we reduce the length of this transition, it seems to accentuate the effect even more. Some transitions, such as the side wipe transition here, have optional controls that can be customized to dial in the look that you want. Double click a transition on the timeline and you can see how you can alter it. For example, we can change the direction that this transition zooms or wipes from. And in this case, we can also choose varying degrees of softness to the edge of the wipe. Or we could add a border with the exact thickness and color that we want. So that looks pretty good. There are a handful of transitions that have even deeper controls, so let's explore one of these now. From the new Parallax group of transitions, if we apply the zoom in wipe transition, we can see the effect that this transition has, partially zooming in on some square shapes in the middle of the frame as the crossfade takes place between the two clips. If we double click the transition, we see we could change the direction of the transition as before, but there are also more controls that could be loaded via the customization button. Here we can see the square shapes that define the partial zoom areas that occur as the transition takes place. By selecting different presets, we can audition the preset shapes that are used for these zoom areas. Or we could create our own custom array of shapes. Let's add a couple of upwards facing arrows to accentuate the upwards direction of this transition. And we can add a curved edge to the transition. So for some transitions, there's loads of ways you can customize them to your liking. Video Studio 2023 also has other new transition types that have been added. Check out the flashback transition, or the group of split transitions, such as diagonal split. Transitions can really bring a sequence to life, and with the amount of transitions to experiment with in Video Studio, and the customization options available, you can easily elevate your videos to the next level. Happy editing!